Hi, and welcome back to my devlog series. This week I will be doing something different and try out what most of the developers did on YouTube, which is capturing your work on everyday basis. I hope it goes well and let's get started. It is currently 7.30 am. I haven't got much time to do work in the morning because I love sleeping too much, but hopefully I'll be able to do some work when I get back home. It is currently 6 p.m. and I just got back home. I'm going to work a little bit on further documenting the game and the prototype. And uh, in case you didn't know, I mean, you probably do, but I'm just going to explain it because um, maybe it's going to help someone. A prototype is defined as an early sample, model or release of a game build to test the concept or process. Doing this can help us understand more how the game should behave and what we expect from its core mechanics and feelings. So this is what I came up so far. In my game, enemies exist in different frequencies. And in order for the player to hit them, the player must shift into the corresponding frequency. The enemies are mainly split into two types of enemy, a ranged one and a melee one. I have made this silly little graph to help me visualize how the enemies and players should interact with each other in the game. In this game, there are a total of three frequencies, a high one, a medium one, and a low one. The player must be in the right frequency to attack the enemy, otherwise he would miss the shot, but a melee enemy can attack any type of player. This is because I thought it would be weird for the AI to just get itself attached to the player without attacking it. It would look really weird. But that's it for me for today. It's currently 11 p.m. and I'm heading back to bed. It is currently Tuesday at 6 a.m. Just like any other weekdays, I'm gonna head to work and I'll see you guys when I'm back. So today I have to do some research on how to actually make this happen in a game. Like, how do I actually program it? Because I'm still pretty clueless on how to make it work on Unity. At first, I thought that I would use some kind of char variable to determine which frequency they are in or some sort of boolean statement. And boy was I wrong. I found from Brackies in one of their videos where they did their first game jam that they used this thing called layer collider matrix, which is somewhat similar to my case, except mine, when they collide, they die. So I started reading the Unity manual about layer collision matrix and there were also tags and other things. This way I can get a broader view and see what fits best for my game. And in the end I think I'm going to use tags because so far it seems that it's the most appropriate way to do it. But that's it, I mean I'm going to see when the prototype is gonna come out and we'll see if it actually works. But yeah, that's it for me for today. I have to head to the gym and then I'm gonna head to bed. Good morning again, it is Wednesday my dudes. I'm gonna head to work. Today I will be a bit busy as I will have to meet up with a friend, but hopefully I will be able to work at least for 30 minutes today, cause even 30 minutes is very important. I heard from many other devs that consistency is key and I will try my best to do that. Okay, for the 30 minutes when I got home, I skyped with Giacomo and Rebecca, and we further discussed the mood board and what it should all contain. They also showed me some sketches, which are still in the middle of the process, and they think that it is worth showing once they're done. Hopefully next week, and they will be able to show you something. But that's it for me today. I'm gonna head to bed. It is Thursday, and I know that after job I have to get a haircut, and after that, I can work on some game dev. Okay, so now that I'm back, um, I think I will be using the tagline and I think I'll have to plan out to separate the tags for enemies and players. So not just the tagline of high, mid and low frequency on just one unique type, but having them separately. So it would be something like enemy would have high frequency enemy tag, low frequency enemy tag, something like that and then players will have a separate of high frequency player tag and low frequency player tag. You can see that I can switch through different frequencies. Like, I know that there's nothing visual about it, but if you look at the command line, um, it is there. 
and uh, yeah. As I did, today I'll be very busy because I have to go to the airport to pick up my parents and helping them out with sorting stuff out and settling down. Um, anyways, but if I get any time after that, I shall make more game dev. Okay, so I made another graph which will help me visualize how the data inside the game will help me work with each other. It's not really a data flow diagram or anything fancy like that, I've just made it to help me visualize it. I've realized that there are three types of objects, the enemy, the player, and also the particle missile. Before, I could change the frequency midway and the missile would turn its frequency as well midway while it's already midair. Um, and obviously that's not something that I want, so I had to make another tag, separate tagline, just for the missiles. This is what I got so far, and uh, it's pretty late again, and I will head to bed. Okay, so this is all I got for this week. I hope that next week we might be able to bring some more assets inside, and actually make this game pretty, because currently what I have isn't as great. I've also discussed with Giacomo and Rebecca to decide whether we should get into level design or just make something like an arena score based type of game. And we think that adding the level design might actually make more sense to this type of game. But it does sound hard. If you guys got any tips in relation to that, it would mean a lot if you could share it as well. I will post down the link and the stuff that I found useful for this week. And also, if you have any questions, please write me through Discord or down in the comments section below. But that's all, and uh, thank you again for watching, it really means a lot. If you want to get in touch, hit that subscribe, I guess. Uh, I don't know how to, it feels weird, but yeah, you get it. Alright, bye.